Good morning, good Friday morning. Pastor Ken here the Harvest. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have plans to be in church on the weekend. Certainly extend an invitation to you uh, this weekend to be with us at the Harvest. Mother's Day coming up. So, uh, hey, go to church with mom or, or take mom to church and be in church with mom on Sunday. What a great day to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit about that as well uh, from encounters, some encounters some women had with God and see how it changed their life. So join us at the Harvest, if you will. A thought for the day is this. One of the classic verses out of the New Testament, Acts chapter 1, verse number eight, but you shall receive power. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You know, I need the power to live. When I was trying to get my life together and t turn some corners and live right and, and have something good come out of my life, the real difference for me, of course, was asking Jesus Christ into my life, but then also receiving the power of the Holy Spirit. That word power is, is in the Greek, it's the word dunamos, which means like dynamite, which has real power to it. It's a force. It's the ability that comes into my life. I needed that. At 20 years old, I needed that in my life because I hugely needed to make some changes. I couldn't do it on my own. Christ came into my life. I began to make some positive changes. Jesus has made the difference for me through receiving the power of the Holy Spirit. You can do that. You can have the power of the Holy Spirit in your life to make the changes you need to make to be the person you need to be so you can have the hopes and dreams fulfilled that you want to have fulfilled. We'll pray together. I'll be right back.